Ben Simmons, let's talk about the Sixers, led the way with 24 points, 9 assists, 8 rebounds as they won a little <clears throat> ugly against the Celtics last night. Getting, this felt like an old school Eastern Conference game to me at one point with the oh, score yes. so low and everything. Philly only shot 24% from three-point range in the win, which, hey, that's up from halftime when they were only shooting 14.3%. So um, was the takeaway from the game for you just, hey, shooting is the issue? Well, let's talk about old school. Um, like back when you were covering the league for the Washington Post. Yes. Um, the best defensive team I've seen in my 17 years covering the NBA was the Detroit Pistons in, when they won the 2004 title. Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, Chauncey. Teams couldn't Ooh. crack 70. You don't think they were the... Boston Celtics, man. That's 2018. Right. But, the, but those teams couldn't crack 70 on those dudes, regardless of that. <laughs> this, cel- this 76ers you're, team has a chance. You're messing up Brian's comparison. Has a chance. Don't let facts okay, get fine. in the way of a good story. He fine. does it to me, so I have to do it. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Let's say it is. Either way, I think that they could be in that class with the Celtics mm-hmm. and those Pistons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how good they are defensively. But. Billy? Yeah. That, they, they, they may be starting the tallest starting lineup in NBA history. Mm-hmm. I haven't done that. But. Shooting. In the half court, in a playoff setting, I think they're going to be fine. For the regular season, but in the half court, they're they're a Stagnant. gunner short. They're a gunner Stagnant. short. Stagnant. Like, yeah. who are you gonna go to? I mean, Joel has to be that guy. Watching him last night, mm-hmm. he has to be the go-to guy in a half court setting, playoffs where it slows down. He can't be on the perimeter. He has to do damage inside. And I don't know where they're gonna get their shooting from. JJ Reddick's not there. Covington is not there. Who is going to step up and knock down outside shots for these guys other than Tobias Harris? And it's not going to be Ben Simmons. I mean, I'm not saying that he won't at some point hit a couple of threes. Yeah, but if you look at the way he's shooting, he's still landing on one foot. I'm not a specialist like Tracy. I know that you don't land on one. You shouldn't land on one foot, although you. It hurts you over time. Um, I, I just don't think he's going to come to the rescue. He's not all of a sudden going to be that guy. Well, we saw what happened for the first half of last season, right? It was too clogged up. There wasn't enough spacing. Joel was upset that he had to keep going out to the perimeter and shoot, all of that kind of stuff. They make the trade for Tobias Harris, and with J.J. Redick, mm-hmm. with Jimmy Butler there, it opened the floor up enough that they were the kind of team that they wanted to be and that Joel and Ben could maneuver down low. That's just not there right now. So gotta, I don't know play. if they're going to have to make another, play, another, another trade. They have to play trade. inside out. I'm sorry. They yeah. got to play inside out. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.